What is going on, everybody? Welcome to part two of my in-depth guide on Ranger 17. Now, for this video, we will be going over my own custom build for the character, because I do have all of the custom mentor keys unlocked, including the ones that come from the raid boss, which, uh, Demps, seriously, you need to, uh, you need to, uh, increase the drop rate, because it's actually, it's actually painful to play those raids and just not get anything for hours. But uh, back to the back to the point at hand. We'll go over my custom build for him, the scales first, and then I will also do the tech at the very end whenever I have uh, fully gone over what I have equipped it to him. So without further ado, oh, oh wait, first I should mention. If you have not watched part one, and if you are not aware of what this guy is capable of doing naturally, please go and watch part one because I will not go over what I did in that video again. But for those of you who are aware, please just sit back and relax and just enjoy. And maybe you'll learn something. Who knows? <laughs> this character is pretty good. He's just underrated as crap. And he, the, I th the reason that most people don't play him, even though he's actually kind of OP, is because his super souls are very underwhelming. And his, uh, his combos, like I said, this strongest combo usually doesn't work online. Sure, it hits like a truck, as you see right there. Especially if I have the uh, super soul activated just... Just look at this damage. <laughs> well over 6k. And I can make it even stronger than that if I want to. But yeah, that's that's the reason why even though he's kind of OP, most people do not bother even playing him. Is because his most OP stuff don't tend to work in lag. Though this can be rectified with certain skills, like, well, y'all already saw what skills I have. I have Freedom Kick, Key Blast Cannon, Smile Charge, and Rough Ranger, and my ultimate attacks are Dead and Bullet, which is one of the strongest three-bar ultimates in the game, and Super Electric Strike. And my evasive is, is Instant Rise, for obvious reasons, because Instant Rise is just the best evasive in the game. But the freedom kick I have, because this thing has pretty much infinite range, it comes out pretty much instantaneously. Sure, you can't combo extend after it, but it does a pretty decent chunk of damage. And it's actually something that he's kind of missing. So, like, he does, like, he does have some supers that can link from long range, but the majority of them are pretty lame. Like. Endless shoot. Like, come on, man. You can do something a lot more creative than endless shoot. Let's be honest here. But I have Freedom Kick for that, and I also have it for the sake of uh, actually getting something off after his charge key blast. because it always combos after his charge key blast. As you see right there. Now, the other thing that I have is key blast cannon for obvious reasons. Because my uh, Ranger 17 is actually one of my tryhard characters. I do not play him to be fancy. I play him to kill you because that's just how he's built. He's just built like a tryhard character. He has a stupid amount of cancels and really fast cancels at that. So it's really kind of hard to play him in a way that doesn't just make him... It's very hard to play him in a very techy way, even though he has a bunch of tech that he can do. Especially with this Super Soul activated dude, he just does so much damage that I'm never going to be able to get all of the stuff that I know how to do off in a combo. Like... Just you're just gonna die too quickly, so there's no point. So I opt, I opt to just play to kill you with this character. 
And then the other skill that I have is Smile Charge, because this thing is freaking sadistic as crap. He grabs you and chokes you, and then blasts you in the face. I mean, how how much more brutal can it get? I think, uh, seriously, Zetsumi Bullet and this move need to be for CACs in Xenoverse 3, Bonai. Just a just little suggestion there. If you're not going to give it to us in Xenoverse 2, you can at least give it to us in Xenoverse 3 if Xenoverse 3 is in development like it's rumored to be. I am skeptical about that, but who knows, it might be. But it does a very good amount of damage. It's a, it's a grab, but it's, the, it's a very good combo ender, as you see right here. Look at that. It does a very good amount of damage, too. Look at that. Look at that damage. He does so much freaking damage, man. It's kind of ridiculous. But it's a very good combo ender. And it's very easy to combo into because of the combos that he has. That just restand you and put you in that stun state. As you see right there. When their stamina broken, you can also restand them with a key blast and then go into a, a grab or something or more attacks. And that's something that I also do with Smile Charge. But I usually just use it as a combo ender. For close combo enders anyway. And then Rough Ranger I have it because it why not? It's his unique counterattack, and I wanted to at least have two of his original skills. Well, Smile Charge and Freedom Kick are his skills, don't get me wrong, but I wanted to at least have one or two of his uh, his original skills that he has in his base toolkit. And Rough Ranger is one of those skills that is just, it has its usage. It, it does have its uses, but it is very punishable. But I just love this skill, personally. It's, it's a very versatile counter, and it functions the way I think all counters should function very high risk high reward this thing is just a very solid counter even though it does have that terrible weakness of having the window to stamina break me while i'm stuck in this animation it's still a pretty decent counter and then dead end bullet well anybody who knows how this skill works should know what i mean when i say this skill is just nasty I mean, just look at that. Pretty freaking disgusting damage. And I can actually chain that as well, which is even worse. But I can actually just, just quickly descend right there and get you. Even if <laughs> even if you're too high up for me to just do it outright, I can still descend like that and then immediately do it and catch you because of how long you're stunned on the ground from being hit by those blasts. It's just an all-around ridiculously good ultimate attack. You can never go wrong with Dead End Bullet. Dead End Rain you can. Dead End Rain sucks, to be honest. But... Dead end bullet, you just can never go wrong with this skill. Because just look at this. Look at the damage this thing is capable of doing, and then look at the fact that I'm able to combo even afterwards. Pretty freaking ridiculous that you're able to do that. And that doesn't require a stamina break either. Like, with certain characters that have heavy knockdown combos that are able to link this dude, it becomes an absolute freaking nightmare to fight somebody who can hit you with this like that. Thankfully, 17 cannot do that, but... Uh, dude, when he stamina breaks you and he has access to this skill... Well, you, you're just kind of dead, to be honest. Because this is going to happen to you.
I mean, just look at that. Freaking retarded damage, man. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you, you get what I mean when I say that pff, he's kind of just built to kill you in his custom variation. So doing tech is not something I typically do with him. That's why I chose these skills. But I will show you some tech anyway. Also, my Super Soul is the uh, his original Super Soul because, well, as I mentioned in that video, it gives you an extra extra large attack increase. So <laughs> you're gonna be, you're gonna be hurting if he hits you. But he has Speed Type B as one of his stat allocation options, which means that extra extra large speed increase is going to become an, I mean that extra large speed increase is going to become an extra extra large speed increase because I have speed type B as well as the super soul being active. You can speak you can see the speed difference here. Just look at this. It's actually kind of retarded how fast this is. Not as fast as like Kefla with speed types. Kefla with speed type is much worse, but it's pretty dang fast. I prefer to have speed type because it gives you just the right amount of attack and the ju and the precise amount of speed that you would need for PvP. Like I said, this guy, I just use him to kill you. If I use him on you, he's just like my custom Jiren. I'm just out to kill you whenever I use this character. But now that that's over, why don't we get into the tech that I know with this character? Now then, one tech that you're able to do is uh, this here. Let's see here. Actually, I don't even need to. Uh, I don't even need to have my Super Soul activated for this. One of the tech that you can do is this. This is uh, a. <clears throat> These uh, uppercuts here. They will auto track and home in, as you see right there, allowing you to set up little t uh, little uh, key techs like that. Any kind of knockback combo, this will work with. See. And the other option that you have is this here. As I mentioned before, you can tech this little, uh, heavy combo here and just look, look at the look at the ridiculous infinite this sets up they can roll out of this when recovery is not turned on I mean not turned off but other than that they're just just watch see You can only do this infinite on the ground, but it's just, it's very funny that you're able to do this infinite to me personally. It's just a funny freaking loop. Look at that. <laughs> That's a little tech that you can do right there whenever their stamina broken. And then the other thing that he's able to do, as I showed you, is this here. Oh, 
That's a little tech combo that you can do right there to set that back hit up. <clears throat> Another thing that he's able to do is this here. Whenever they are, whenever they're, their stamina are broken, his grab can actually just immediately be teched into regular attacks and that sets up a back hit as you see right there. This is only close to the ground, of course. But as you see right there, be careful about that. Did you see what happened right there? For some reason, if you tech off this combo here and then go into this string, this last hit will miss. So the best thing to do after that combo is to, is to go into like a smile charge or something like that, or a key blast cannon. Then again, you can also do stuff like power blitz and all those other skills that he has, but those are the skills that I have. He has many other skills that he can use. I just prefer this set because like I said, I typically only use this character when I am just trying to kill you. <clears throat> now, the other thing that he can do is this. Oh, wait, hold on, not that. Obviously this little uppercut here. You can bounce them up with a key blast. Slide underneath them and get that little back hit extension. Do whatever you want after that. That stamina break that I did right there is only a combo video thing. That does not work normally. <clears throat> Be nice if it was an option that you could do, but no, they can't roll out of that. You cannot tech off that combo at that distance. You have to wait just a little bit. And you cannot do this at the ceiling. And as you see right there, that always whiffs if you tech off that combo like that and go into this string. Because it always makes you land the punches too far above them. And that will cause any stamina break to miss or in this, or in the case of the actual combo, it's this little double axe handle slam here. Now, another thing that you can do is this. Oh, not that, excuse me. If you want, on the ground, Right there, do you see what happened? If you go into triangle right there. Do you see what happened right there? Yeah. If you go into triangle, you can set all that stuff up. Look at that. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, so if you go into this and you go into triangle with that dashing square, afterwards you, you go right into triangle, that kick, that slide kick, as I mentioned, will always autocorrect and track them. This is only possible on the ground. So keep that in mind. Hey. 
And then the other thing that you can do is this. If you want a key slide option, this on the ground is probably the simplest option. And it also allows you to fully charge your back air. Like so. And this also gives you access to another extension that normally you don't have. You see how this comp you see how this combo tosses them further up at an angle? Well, if you charge that kick, it doesn't toss them nearly as far up as you see right there. So, if you were to do something like this, as you see right there, it will whiff. That would be a good way to set up a smile charge right there. But you can do this instead. Delay your key blasts. You can do a combo like that instead. Pretty cool, right? That's not all though. We can also do this. Oh, hold on. It's a little bit awkward, so keep that in mind. This is Toxic Karma's little overhead tick. It's very, very awkward. You gotta, you gotta throw the key blast over their head, or you gotta whiff it like that. You can also whip it like that and it will work as well. Or you can do it like that. The better way is to go like this instead. And then there's another thing that you can do here, which you can actually key slide after this combo here as well. See that? You have to do this really fast. If you don't do it fast, it will not work. It, because it will not combo. So that's a key slide option that you have right there. Now, I'm gonna show you another thing that I did. Uh, but this this involves uh, the skill that I use here. I'm just gonna get him all the way up here real quick. We're gonna have to put our health to danger real quick for this. I really do wish there was a way to turn off the Super Soul. Uh, but unfortunately there is not. Not currently anyway. So then, you would do this. You're gonna delay that super electric strike. Ah, hold on. He landed on the uh, he landed on the outside barrier, so it didn't work. What you're gonna do with that is, once they hit the ground, you're gonna tech off of it like I tried right there. Problem is, it didn't want to work. Delay it a bit. Wait until he gets far, far away. And you see right there? That's what I was saying I have Freedom Kick for you. See that? Pretty cool little combo ender right there. Instead of just going directly into the shockwave like I showed you in uh, part one and finishing it with the shockwave, you can go into Freedom Kick right after that shockwave because this thing has infinite range. So that's why I have that. Now I'll just show you some like, just some, just some, uh, basic, just some, uh, basic combos that you could probably do tech-wise online. Keep in mind, these are hard to perform and you're gonna struggle.
If you wanted, you could actually quickly descend right there and get a grab off if you were quick, quick enough. And as you see right there, the damage that he does is just retarded. Look at that. <laughs> he does so much freaking damage. It's actually absurd how fast he can kill you. Let me just get him all the way to the top of the map real quick so I can show you a proper combo involving that tech I just showed you. Just look at the damage, man. He dies so quick that I can't even get the tech off. And even with uh, even with his other Super Soul options, he still does a crap ton of damage. That's why I say doing tech with this guy is just not really practical with the way I play him. The way I play him is just to kill you. I'll try and do a more simplistic version. Uh, hold on. The wall collision. It won't work if the wall makes them bounce like that. If the wall keeps them and makes them collide against it like that, it will not work. Come on, Jerry. Recover your health. Recover your health. Recover your health. There we go. Super electric strike. Bam. Careful, though. If you are at the absolute maximum range you can be, before locking off, yeah, that happens. You see how it made me automatically lock off because I turned away from my opponent? Yeah. Yeah, that unfortunately can happen sometimes with this combo. Which is another reason I say it's kind of only a combo video thing. If you normally only want to do whenever you're just trying to post a combo online or something. But it is something that you can get in a stamina break, as you see right there with the right setup. But the combo that I like to do if I do tech, if I do tech with this guy at all against my opponent, good grief, I am so sick of this being so outdated. Good grief, dimps. Get with the times. Training mode needs a bunch of options. <clears throat> But uh, back to the point. Combo that I will do is this. Oh, good grief, the wall. And seriously, Dimps, invisible barriers need to just be gone in Xenoverse 3 because they cause so many collision errors. See right there, that will whiff. That's why I don't usually do it, but I wanted to show you guys because there are some people that are going to be like, mm, what is it? That, that sh yeah, that totally works. Why are you saying that doesn't work? because it doesn't work. Bam. Finish him off. That's a very basic little kill combo that I'll do with uh, Dragon Ball Super 17 here. 
As for tech combos, all the tech that I showcased in this uh, this little video here, you can put it into a combo if you so desire. But like I said, I can't really showcase full tech combos with this guy because he just does so much damage. I can't avoid killing my opponent before I can finish the combo unless I put their health to unlimited, which I'm not gonna do that because that's unrealistic. But that is pretty much it for part two, everybody. If you liked this video, please leave a like, maybe share it, and subscribe to my channel if you are new. I do my best to upload as often as I possibly can. And uh, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Maybe uh, leave your suggestions. Also, if you want to uh, know anything or have any other questions, ask me in the comment section below, and I will see you all in the next video.